Here's pregame thoughts here. Padres and the Reds, the series finale. Seth Lugo on the mound for the Padres. Michael Walker pitched really good last night. Went six innings. Blake Snell pitched good the night before. You Darvish went six innings in that second game in Mexico City. So can Seth Lugo continue that trend for Padres starting pitching? Can he continue going, you know, six innings, get through that, set it up well for the bullpen? We'll see. I think he can. He, he's shown that he can already this season. Uh, just keep pounding the strike zone, attack, first pitch strikes like he did in that first outing of the year where it was like 22 of the 25 batters that he faced were all first pitch strikes. We'll see. Let's see if he can kind of go with that game plan again today. Bullpen wise, it's good. Uh, Hater should be able to go back to back days today if it's a safe situation. Luis Garcia, yeah, he gave up the lead last night in uh, extras, but he only pitched seven pitches, so he should be good to go. Steven Wilson, Brent Honeywell, Nick Martinez pitched yesterday, so he's not going to go today. But that, you know, gave a lot of guys in the bullpen another day off a day of rest so that was good uh and lineup wise bogey is back in there manny a day off so they're going with the double day off because if he doesn't play today then that's two days off because there's the day off tomorrow before the dodger series starts up on friday so that means that there's a little bit of shuffling around the order they have enough talent to to beat the cincinnati reds even without manny so we can't just like last night with bogarts we shouldn't use that as an excuse um, today shouldn't use it as an excuse that the Padres can't win that oh man he wasn't in the lineup well you're playing the Cincinnati Reds you're not playing the Mets or the Braves or the Dodgers or the Rays uh, or like the Pirates someone that's off to a really good start this year you're playing the Reds uh, so let's score more than one run let's come through with someone in scoring position unlike last night but the shuffling that's going around the order uh, today Odor, he is going to be playing second. Kim shifts over to third. Bogey's at short, obviously. Crony's at first. Carpenter is DHing with a righty on the mound. Uh, maybe Carpenter exits the game at some point. Nelson Cruz comes in based on matchups late in the game. Um, if you know, with Luis Sessa on the mound for the Reds today, you're going to look at his ERA and you're like, man, this guy sucks. Uh, but you go to his game logs and he had one terrible outing where he gave up like 11 runs. I have no idea what happened there. I don't know why the Reds kept him in there to give up 11 runs, but wow, okay. That was surprising to see. It's not like consistently bad. Now, I don't I don't know if he's gonna go long looking at his game logs. It's like four or five innings of work, so that's good for the Padres. Um, he can get to their bullpen, but then last night their bullpen was good. So just bottom line, the Padres offense just has to come through when they have those opportunities to have runners in scoring position. It's a, it's a balanced lineup today. I mean, Grish is leading off, but there's it's left, right, left, right, um, pretty much the whole way through, uh, except I think Crony and Carp are just back-to-back. -back. But usually they are. But Sullivan's catching. Um, it's, it's a balanced lineup today. Uh, as for underdog, I would go with the over on Seth Lugo uh, and his strikeouts. I believe that's one of the underdog fantasy um, higher lowers that I saw this morning. I, I would go higher on that. I mean, the breaking ball, I think, can really be an asset for him today uh, with this Reds lineup. You know, with Snell, with his breaking ball, I know it's a lefty versus a righty, but they were swinging in a lot of his breaking pitches, so that's what I would go with today. I believe that's one of the underdog. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Uh, show after the game, post-game reaction video after the game as well. I'll have that first, and then I'll have the show. So stay tuned for that. Um, and, yeah, a little after 1 o'clock is the first pitch. It'll be disappointing if they can't come out with the win because, again, they're playing the Cincinnati Reds.